Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Junior and today we are doing a cooking with Cortez. So as most of you know, June is Pride Month and this Pride is kind of special for me because about a month ago, what's the date? The 23rd? I think I came out on the 20th. I did come out as a bisexual male. I figured tons of people are celebrating Pride, the LGBTQIA plus community, and tons of y'all might have been invited to parties or just want to celebrate yourself. So I looked up a recipe on how to make a super easy rainbow Pride cake. The recipe came from iheartnaptime.net, and I'll insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like. So we'll see if mine ends up looking like that. It's super easy. Do you make it in a bundt cake because it's easier to layer the colors? So you just need a bundt cake. You need a white cake. I got Duncan Hines because it was the cheapest. Uh, it doesn't call for frosting, but I'm not about to make a cake and not for frosting. I, that's offensive. And then you just need some bowls to mix your colors in, and then the colors that you are going to need to use. I mean your your food coloring. I already went ahead and just mixed the cake batter because that's just like a basic cake thing and so now we'll go into making the colors. Okay, so we have red, orange, yellow, green, I'm just doing blue, skipping indigo because I don't even know what that means and then we'll do a violet or a purple. So what you have to do after you make your batter is split this up into six even Like I said in my last video, where I'm having some issues with my camera, so I'm switching back to my phone, so let's continue back into the color mixing. Um, if you don't know me, I'm pretty cheap, and food coloring is expensive. It was like $3.50 for three, four stupid little things of these. And so the one that I got just came with like the primary colors and then green. So for orange, I'm just gonna mix together red and yellow and hope that it gets the job done. So I'm going to do, I think, three drops of yellow, and I mean, of red. And then I'll do four drops of, well, I did five, <laughs> of yellow, and hopefully, oh, Ooh. yeah, this is, or, oh, no. It's like orange, right? Mm -hmm. It's my chicken. I'm good. Orange, perfect. Well, this looks like a shamrock shake. <laughs> Bring me to McDonald's right now. Because again, they didn't have purple. Blue and red should make purple. So I'm going to mix that in this last one. So I'll do one, two, three drops of red. And I'll do one, two, three drops of blue. And we pray because this is the top color. So if it doesn't come out good. Oh, come on. <laughs> Please, oh, Jesus. Please, can't you? <gasps> Oh, who went to primary school? <laughs> Six of our colors are done. So now I'm going to preheat the oven and then we'll put everything to the cake pan. I have a grease bunt pan here. And so it says it's as simple as you just pour your colors in the order that you want, but you just give it a second to let it sort of even out and mellow. And then also, especially with the first two colors, the red and the orange, she said you wanna make sure that they don't like melt into each other because they're kind of, I don't know. I really wasn't listening. I just like skipped through just to watch the steps. So. so it should look like that. It doesn't have to be clean or anything like that because one, it just doesn't, so don't worry about it. So I'm just gonna throw this in the oven for 33 minutes and we'll come back when it is done. I baked this for 33 minutes and now I'm just going to flip it onto the tray. So hope that this goes as easy as it's supposed to. Oh, I didn't hear it making noise, so. Um, oh, I think it's out. How do I get it out? <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Ooh. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, it's coming out. Oh. <laughs> what do I do? 
Okay, so after some, hey, after some reworking, so the top, <laughs> top part of the cake grips from the bottom part, but we got it in a circle pretty much. So now I have to frost this. So the recipe that I'm tagging below does not call for frosting, like I said before, but the, my belly calls for frosting. Why are your pants unbuttoned? <laughs> We're just gonna oh, drizzle it on here and then I'll try to like smooth it out. Do some for me, or just frosting. Do some what? Frosting? <laughs> Do some frosting? Yeah. Like no one properly um, frosts a butt cake anyway, right? I have the idea to make it a little bit more rainbow. I got myself some pretty pebbles, which are already the color of the entire rainbow, and I went to just sprinkle it on the cake. Do you think I should do the whole thing or just like? Probably the whole to cover the whole, <laughs> the whole job. But what if it's not good on the cake and then they ruin it? Okay, then half of it. Or put it on the whole thing. That looks so much better. Pretty Pebbles definitely made it look a little bit better because you can't see the frosting. So I'm gonna cut it. It's just like, again, like a white cake, so it should be fine. But I wanna see what the inside of it looks like. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna skip that out of the way. Okay, well this side looks good. Look at it. It's a rainbow, right? Red. Oh, you can't really see the orange. But, look, I expected nothing less from this channel. Here's what my piece looks like. Pretty decent. It's practically two cakes on top of each other. So I'm just gonna try it. I'm not expecting anything revolutionary, but. No, this is really good. Like the fruity pebbles, like the crunch that they give. <laughs> My final verdict on the rainbow pride bun cake. Very simple to make. You just need your food coloring. Hopefully, if you guys make it, it just doesn't do all of this. It would have been a lot easier. But it's good. It's just a white cake, and the fruity pebbles adds like a nice crunch to it. So that is really good. So once again, everybody, happy Pride, and I will see you in next week's video. Bye. Bye.